Welcome to the General Chemistry 1 class. This section is on stoichiometry focusing on the molar mass. In this lesson, we will determine the molar mass of elements and compounds. Always take note that a mole is equivalent to the number of particles that are as many as the number of atoms in exactly 0.012 kilograms or 12 gram of carbon-12. In each carbon-12 atom has a mass of 12 AMU. A mole of this atom has a mass of 12 grams. Now, consider oxygen-16 atom with atomic mass of 15.99 AMU. Since a mole of oxygen-16 has as many atoms as there are in a mole of carbon-12, then the mass of one mole oxygen-16 is equivalent to 15.99. 99 grams. The mass that an atom or any substance has in a mole or in one mole is called the molar mass. In the current and next few lessons, we will use molar mass to denote mm. The unit for the molar mass is gram per mole. From the previous illustration, the value of the molar mass of an atom is the same as the value of the atomic mass in AMU. For instance, nitrogen with an average atomic mass or simply atomic mass of 14.01 AMU has a molar mass of 14.01 grams per mole. For substances consisting of more than one atom, the molar mass is the sum of the molar masses of all atoms present. Let's have some examples. Example number one. Calculate the molar mass of elemental nitrogen with a chemical symbol of N2. Solution. Elemental nitrogen has two nitrogen atoms, so the molar mass of the elemental nitrogen can be determined by multiplying 2 by the molar mass of nitrogen atom, 14.01 grams per mole. Thus, the molar mass is equal to 28.02 grams per mole. Let us try calculating molar masses of compounds. Example number 2. Calculate the molar mass of sodium bicarbonate. We have NaHCO3. We have the solution. Sodium bicarbonate consists of one sodium, one hydrogen, one carbon, and three oxygen atoms. Multiplying the quantity by the molar mass of each element, we have 1 times 22.99 grams per mole for sodium and 1 times 1.008 grams per mole for hydrogen and 1 times 12.01 grams per mole for carbon and 3 times 16 grams per mole for oxygen. Simplifying, we get 84.008 grams per mole. Since values with two decimal places limit the number of significant figures, we round off the answer to two decimal places. Hence, the final answer is 84.01 grams per mole. We have now the example number three. Calculate the molar mass of calcium phosphate. We have now the solution. The compound consists 
of three calcium and two phosphate ions. Each phosphate ion has one phosphorus and four oxygen atoms. All in all, we have three calcium, two phosphorus and eight oxygen atoms. Multiplying the quantity by the molar mass for each element, we have 3 times 40.08 grams per mole for calcium and 2 times 30.97 grams per mole of phosphorus and 8 times 16 grams per mole for oxygen. Simplifying, we get the molar mass which is equal to 310 Point eighteen grams per mole. To summarize, molar mass is the mass of one mole of a substance. The molar mass of an atom in grams per mole is the same as the value of atomic mass in atomic mass units. The molar mass of a substance with more than one atom is the sum of the molar masses of all atoms present. And we have now the references or the bibliography for this lesson. Thank you!